Hey, what's up guys? Rave13 here and welcome to another Gunpla unboxing. Okay, so what we have here today is the HGUC MS-06K Zaku Half Cannon, as you guys have seen. Now, this was actually just recently released in early November of 2017. As you guys can see, this is actually very different than your regular uh, Zaku 2s here. Um... From the way it looks like, it actually got this uh, cannon, some, uh, I don't know what this is. This looks like a, um, a grenade launcher, and you got your machine gun here, which is I am looking forward to. Okay, apologies regarding the lights. I'm still having some trouble. <laughs> okay, so let's check the side of the box here. Okay, as you guys can see... It's actually a very unique design. It actually got this desert color, desert brown. And uh, you can see the um, Gatling there, the artillery. There's this uh, special, as you guys can see that, stickers there, which I'm looking forward to. I might actually just build this straight and apply the decals, which I'm looking forward to. Okay, and you got your artwork here. Now, as you guys can see, I'm just going to read this out loud. Uh, English version. As the Earth Federation force counterattack intensifies, the ground forces of the Principality of Zion are forced to apply emergency repair in its damaged machines to reinforce its uh, military strength. The MS-06CK ha Zaku Half Cannon is... Uh, the same mobile suit as the Zaku 2 Type C with the addition of MS 06K backpack. The backpack is equipped with a 180mm cannon or Gatling gun and a twin smoke discharger and can also carry a big gun for use in battle by groups of mobile suit. So it looks like um, this is a smoke grenade launcher. <laughs> nice. Okay, you get your basic information here. Okay, mobile suit discovery. And there's more artwork. It is actually number 19 on the origin line. Okay, now at the side of the box here, here's some mobility as you guys can see. And you get the options. Now I'm actually planning on getting another one of this next year whenever when I get the chance. I am a big Zaku fan. Okay. So it's very different than your typical green Zaku since uh, it actually got this red sticker as I mentioned already. And it looks like you get the, an open hands here. Looks like for the right one. Okay, you get your markings. Hmm. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and check the contents. Okay, right off the bat here is the stickers. Okay. Okay, so first off is the sticker, I guess. Okay, now let's move this for more lighting. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. This is the same as the prototype dome. I actually had a hard time uh, placing the stickers properly, so you got to be very careful with this one here. It's a strip. Okay. Now let's head to the next one, which is frame A2, okay. You're definitely going to have to actually uh, use a, um, a flat uh, clear here to make it a little bit more realistic, which is I'm actually going to be doing after my review. Hmm, just look at that. Okay, there's some details here. 
I really do like that the um, Bandai have been putting a lot more effort in their design. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Let's make this as fast as possible. Now you got your basic gray here. Okay. Now let's get back to A2 again because I shall be showing you the back side. Okay. Now the next one. is a one you got your Zaku shield here now this one's a little bit uh, lighter brown sandy brown and uh, there's this smell coming out like that new plasticky smell my suggestion is this uh, give it a um, wash and look at the fin there commander unit yeah, I can definitely... It's a strong smell, actually. Hmm. Yeah, better give it a rinse. Okay. Now, uh, the next one is uh, frame B1. This is more of a dark brown color. So you guys can see here, the foot is uh, separate. The heel and the foot area. And looks like this is the chest. Two different types. Nice. Okay. Okay, now we got frame J here. Looks like this is for the machine gun. It's like um, ABS here. Robbery. So you guys can see that. Yeah. It actually is a strong smell. Okay. Sorry, it's kind of going out of focus here. Okay. Now, here's frame E1. Okay, light brown, and there's the details again. Which is really, really nice. I'm actually going to be putting in that extra effort for this unit. Definitely. Okay. There's the rest of the fit, feet there. The legs. The arms. Nice. Okay. Next one is frame I. Okay, looks like this is the weapons here. Open hand. Just look at that. Wow. Okay. Okay, now the last uh, plastic here. Now we got uh, frame D2. Yep. Frame F. You got your. Wow. Okay. This is actually unexpected. Uh, two uh, heat hawks. You got the rest of your hands here. It looks like two open hands. Yeah, we get one here and we get one here also, which is kind of nice. Okay. This one here actually got an attachment. And this one doesn't. Okay, now I understand. Okay. Now, the last one is the polycaps here. Now, remember, you're not going to be using them all. I'd be surprised 
if you ended up using them all in this uh, unit here. <laughs> okay, now the last one is... Huh, something caught my attention. Looks like a broken piece here. Doesn't look like it's important. Well, just in case. It's just garbage. No. This one here. Bandai code. And now up next is the manual. Okay, there's the decal placement. This actually looks nice. A little bit of panel line, flat uh, clear, decal placement. This is actually going to look good. Okay. Now, as always, they have advanced in their manual here. English instructions. I am very impressed. Typically, I purchase all their kits, but this one I couldn't uh, leave it at be. Okay, there's the frames, stickers. Okay. Well, just in case, if you guys lost your manual, you can try and slow that down, guys. Okay, so there you have it. Zakatu Half Cannon released in early November of 2017. Looking forward to this baby here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give this uh, video a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. And uh, for the next unboxing, well, you guys will actually like it. Um, okay, this is Freep13. Have a good day, good night, afternoon, wherever you are. Signing out for this video. See ya. Yo, what's up guys? Rig13 here, aka Traveling Pinoy, and welcome to a unboxing, actually. Okay, so I started checking my mailbox uh, for the last couple of days now, and uh, I've been waiting for this package here. It's supposed to arrive next month. And it arrived much earlier than I anticipated. Thank you, Hobby Link Japan.